Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the Federal Communications Commission. Now, before I go into this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, the Federal Communications Commission, uh, what do they do? What are they about? Um, well, it's this is a department of U.S. government that's really interesting. Um, they specifically regulate communications. I mean, think about the internet, think about radio, television. Um, they regulate all of that. Uh, now, some people will think about the FCC that they're censoring content. That's not really their job, all right? Um, you know, we have the First Amendment. I mean, movies, televisions, uh, television, TV shows, uh, they pretty much have First Amendment protections. The idea that, you know, the Federal Commission's, uh, um, you know, they're just kind of like fe um, Federal Communications Commission, that they're just like going after specific content and banning it, that's not allowed with the, the, um, the First Amendment. So the primary job of the FCC, all right, Federal Communications Commission, uh, their primary job is to regulate, all right? They don't want monopolies, all right? If two companies want to merge, um, that you know are extremely powerful, where they could, could create a monopoly, uh, the the FCC is going to step in. They don't want monopolies; they want competition when it comes to uh, internet providers. These giants, um, think about uh, the internet providers. Think about um, you know radio stations. Think about um, you know TV stations. Anything from like ABC. Uh, to um, what are some um, uh, AMC? I don't have cable anymore, so I, I've forgotten the the popular TV network names. But um, MTV, you know, see, I'm remembering a couple of them. But um, <laughs> for the most part, the FCC they monitor all these all these stations, channels, cables, internet, radio, satellite. You know, if it's a national uh, broadband, broadcast, whatever, network, you name it, the FCC monitors it. Um, they want to make sure, number one, that everybody has access to free and um, not free, but to affordable and reliable, um, you know, communication networks, um, you know, with people with disabilities, people who can afford uh, the the average price they have different programs to help people in this situation those situations um, have access because nowadays if you don't have means of communications if you don't have the internet if you don't have a cell phone uh, if you can't call anybody uh, you're you're pretty much screwed you know I mean there's not I mean in in the street there's no pay phones all right. There's no pay phones. There's no free kiosk where you can just use a computer. Uh, so the government, you know, if you don't have a cell phone these days and nobody allows you to borrow their cell phone on the street, you're kind of screwed. You don't, like, there's no, you know, you can't really go into a store and pay to use the phone. Um, there's, there's no pay phones out in the street anymore, so you can't make calls unless you have a cell phone. Um, you know, you could have a quarter, you know, 50 years ago, 100, you know, 50 years ago, you could just have a quarter and you could go to any pay phone and call any, anything. But nowadays you need access, you need internet access, you need, uh, phone access, uh, you know, the FCC, they want to keep things fair. Uh, they want to keep things uh, moving for both um, people who are disabled, poor, can't afford it, um, people who live in rural areas. I mean, there's some parts of the United States that are very rural. Uh, they don't have Internet access. Uh, and the FCC are working with Internet providers and broadband broadcast um, companies to make sure that every inch of the U.S. is covered in terms of communications, because you don't want to be in that small town out in the middle of nowhere uh, where there's no communications whatsoever and you're pretty much like literally 
in your own little world where you can't communicate to anybody else in America. Um, so um, the FCC, they, they promote or they want competition between providers, between networks. Uh, they want fairness. They don't want monopolies. They police that. They enforce the laws in regards to communications. Um, and um, they keep an eye. I mean, think about net neutrality. Um, the FCC is heavily involved with that. Uh, the FCC also set rules and regulations for companies that, um, that, you know, that have national networks and local networks. Um, they pay attention to all of that. Um, they regulate it. They write the rules about it. So if you're ever wondering who write the rules to the Internet and how the Internet is, rule, is used, that is the FCC. Um, again, they're not specifically focused on censoring content. Uh, their job is to, um, you know, specifically keep things fair, keep things moving, uh, regulate and set certain rules. Uh, when we get into censorship, when we get into um, content, um, now, when you look at things like PG, PG thirteen, rated R, rated M for you know MA and things like that, uh, these are the rules uh, that we want to make things clear of who can watch who can watch what. Um, those are also things that are monitored. So regulations, um, you know, regulations, laws. Anything that, that pertains to the internet, to broadcast, broadband, um, networks, radio, um, satellite, uh, it's all looked at by the FCC. Um, so yeah, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.